There are still tens of thousands of kids here in Jacksonville in need as we approach the holidays. And the nonprofit Toys for Tots is one group helping to make sure those kids have presents on Christmas morning. But this year, they say meeting their quota is more of a challenge and they need your help. On your side, Tristan Hardy found out what's affecting donations this year. Santa Claus doesn't wear red from head to toe. Actually, it's blue with white gloves and ribbons on his chest. My name is Gunnery Sergeant Ryan Terry. Toys for Tots is Sergeant Terry's way of paying it forward to the First Coast. He lives for the moment seeing kids ecstatic about their gift. Um, it, it's definitely a passion of mine as well, since I am a single father myself. To spread that holiday cheer, Sergeant Terry and volunteers need more toys. He says this room is usually packed with gifts, but this year they're struggling to collect donations. And now we have 51,000 children that are currently registered here in Jacksonville that are requesting assistance. And that's the most amount of children we have been able to uh, try and provide toys to in the last four years. Sergeant Terry believes the lack of donations stem from people experiencing two powerful storms inflation and the pandemic. A lot of the toys that we require here in Jacksonville is girls 6 to 14 and boys 10 to 14. For example, these boxes are for the boys between the ages of 10 and 14, and they're pretty much empty. The toys that are already in here were donated from last year. The workload will get heavier as we get closer to Christmas. Sergeant Terry is stressed, but he isn't worried. I, I do believe that we are doing something good over here for Jacksonville. To Sergeant Terry, Every family deserves a Christmas, and he's hoping more people will soon drop a gift in one of these boxes. Tristan Hardy, First Coast News, on your side. So here is how you can help. You can drop off unwrapped toys in those Toy for Tots boxes. They're in businesses and at locations all across the First Coast until December the 16th. And we have linked a list of donation sites to this story on firstcoastnews.com. You can also make a monetary donation on their website.